Now let's take a look at installing Stats Pack. You need to create a specific table space called, for instance, PerfStat Performance Statistics. Generally, Oracle documentation creates a table space called PerfStat. A few things you need to remember. You have to execute the scripts on the database server. You can't do this from a client machine. Additionally, you have to set the Oracle SID variable on the database server to the database you're going to use. Otherwise, the scripts will crash. You execute stats back creation by executing a script called spcreate.sql. The script should prompt you for a perfstat user password. The user is created automatically and it's called perfstat. It should also prompt you for the default table space, which would actually end up being this table space, perfstat. And it will also prompt you for a temporary table space. If it doesn't give you these three prompts, then there's something wrong with the script creation. You probably get a lot of errors. When you get an error, simply execute the drop SQL script and recreate with spcreate. I find that when recreating, for instance, I started by trying to create stats back on my database server from my client machine. Obviously, that won't work because the Oracle SID is not set. I executed drop and I found that the drop command didn't necessarily drop the stats back perfstat user created by the previous execution of the SP create script and I found it best to drop the user as a cascade drop, drop the table space including contents and start from scratch by creating the table space itself. Then what you do is you execute SP create which generates all the stats back goodies. I have a database with stats pack set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go and connect to the stats pack perfstat user at test and I'm actually going to execute a snapshot. Now bear in mind that my database has not been running for very long. I've executed a stats pack snapshot. The fact that my database hasn't been running very long means there's not much in the way of statistics in the database. Now if I wanted to do a special type of snapshot, I could use a specific level. I can take a snapshot by connecting to perfstat and executing stats pack. There are multiple levels, all the way from 0 through to 10. Typically the simplest and fastest performing level is 0, simple performance statistics. The best one to use when looking at SQL code problems is to use 6 because it includes SQL plans. 7 to 10 includes an enormous amount of detail which we won't necessarily use. Generally I use statspack.snap isnap level 6. So let's go and execute a snapshot at level 6 and that's how you do it and it simply executes that. And there we have it completed. The other thing you can obviously do is you can set up statspack snapshots to execute over a certain period of time. One is a day, that's basically a day divided by 288. Now let's go and run a report. I do this by executing a script called SP report. I need to go and find it in the appropriate directory. And it's going to ask me for begin snap and end snap, which is basically these two IDs. The default snap level was the first one I created, which is level 5. The second one was the second snapshot I executed, which is level 6, including SQL plans. All I'm going to do is execute it a report between these two snapshots. I'm going to say 1 to 2. The default report file I'll just execute with the default report file and it basically gives me an on-screen report at the same time and I can go and look at that default report file. Essentially people have written entire books about stats pack. There is an enormous amount of information in there and the biggest problem I find is actually wading through all that stuff trying to isolate a specific problem. You can also run a specific report called sprepsql, c colon backslash oracle backslash r92 backslash rdbms. What this does is it allows you to generate a specific report for a specific query. And obviously I need a query hash value, which comes from something like the vSQL text, vSQL performance views.